Hi boys and girls, um, I just wanted to let you know that I am going to be continuing to make these videos. I'm going to post them on Wednesdays around the time that we would normally do our drawing. I will send a message through Class Dojo to let you know that they'll be on my website. I really miss you. I hope you are all doing great and I'm excited to see you guys soon. Happy drawing and I hope you guys have fun with this. Okay, so in a lesson 11, we are going to be drawing advanced level cylinders. Last week, we did the regular cylinders, the 3D ones, and now we're gonna be doing um, a whole bunch of them clustered together. And in the end, it's going to kind of look like a cityscape scene. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, in this lesson, we are going to be going over overlapping, for shortening, remember that's where you squish the shape, blending and shadows, including nook and cranny shadows. Um, this lesson is getting a little more difficult and as we go, our um, lessons will be more complicated and also a little bit longer. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna draw a large picture, picture frame. So looking at your sketchbook, um, you in within your sketchbook draw a big frame so this should take up so draw a rectangle that takes up most of your page and then you're going to be drawing in this space um, but this should be taking up almost the entire page on your sketchbook okay so once you've done that then we're going to draw our first foreshortened circle so remember to do that we're going to do guide dots So you can go ahead and do that. Um, then we're going to draw more foreshortened, cir foreshortened circles, some large, some small, some high, some low. Um, just make sure that that circle is squished. You don't want it to be too wide. Um, some of you are drawing them like this. Um, that's too wide, so you don't want to do that. Um, I'll do the guide dots. And like a tiny one or something. Okay, so once you've drawn um, some four shortened circles, then I want you to go ahead and draw a few more foreshortened circles positioned slightly out of the frame. So that means that they're slightly off the frame, so you're not gonna see the whole thing. So I would be like, there would be like half of one. Um, I'll see where you can fit it in, but um, this, is, this really adds a lot of professionalism to your drawings. Um, it's a really good technique that you're gonna to wanna to use um, because it, it gives it more, um, a really nice visual effect. Okay, so then once you've done that, then you're gonna draw the vertical sides down from the lowest foreshortened circle. So I'm gonna to go to my lowest one and I'm gonna draw the lines down from that. Um, this one actually, this one right here is a little too wide, so I'm gonna erase it a little bit. I'm gonna fix it. I just needed to squish it a little more. Okay. Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to draw the lines coming down. And they're gonna go down off of the page. It's always a good idea to start with the lowest one because the ones behind it are going to stop when they reach um, that figure or object. So see here I'm coming down and it's gonna stop. So that's why I drew the 
lowest ones first. And that's the overlapping and things like that. Um, I think I'm gonna draw a couple more foreshortened circles. bigger one because I don't have a ton of big ones and then I think I'm gonna draw a couple smaller ones up here and again when things are smaller and higher up on the page the visual effect is that it's farther away I'm going to draw one little extra one right here, and I'm going to show you um, what I'm going to do with that. Um, I'm just going to give it a flying effect look. Maybe that's a UFO up there. So make sure you're concentrating on overlapping and drawing the important peaking lines down from each and every foreshortened circle. Um, you want to also avoid drawing two sides of the towers lining up. So let me just show you what that means. Um, if I have my foreshortened circles here, let's say one's here, and then I had another one here. That's, they're too close together where um, you don't want them to line up. So if you do have that, like if um, these are lining up and sharing the same line right here, you want to avoid that. Um, and then like I would have maybe have like another, if I had one like right here, you want to avoid them lining up with each other. So if you do have that, um, you can go ahead and erase um, and um, change it. So for example, these are, this one is kind of in between, is right in between the two. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna erase that. And I'm going to offset it a little bit. So meaning that maybe putting it right here instead. And then that way it's not lined up. This one also shares a line, so I'm going to erase that one too. So you don't want it to share a line with um, all the towers. So go ahead and see if you have any of that and erase as you need to. Then you'll just need to go back and fix it. Fix your lines coming down. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna do our shading. So be thinking. So you're gonna be thinking about, you know, start. This is gonna be the darkest part right along here. Gonna be our value level of a five. Then we're gonna go for the lines are a little bit farther apart. Three, two, and then one. And then also um, you can um, 
shade those in, or blend it in, I mean. Okay, so you're just gonna do that on all of them. Remember, like, thinking about if the sun is right here. Okay, so that's about it for um, the towers. Make sure that you um, finish all the towers. Make sure none of them line up. Again, if you need to fix it, you can erase and redo it. I landed up finding one that I needed to do. Um, Oh, one more thing you want to look at too is the nook and cranny shadows. So that's where um, you would have something like behind. So you might want to add like some shadowing right in here um, where the towers meet. At the top. So like little nooks and cranny shadows wherever they would meet in the corners. So just kind of go through and find out where those are. Probably have one like right here. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this lesson. Um, after you're done with this one, think about how you could expand this. What else could you draw as a bonus challenge? You could draw buildings. You could um, maybe have different shaped windows inside. Um, this is, this could be a lot of different things. So. See if you can um, take the challenge and draw a bonus drawing. All right, awesome drawing, and please look for my next lesson next week.